Hey, YouTube, you know who I am? So let's finish this up. You know who I am? You know what's happening. We gotta beat Smithy. Goop hug. Magnum. Die. Peach. It's time for a pick-me-up. Thanks for the half one. I didn't think I had one. No! My body that are burning! It's not possible! I don't believe it! I'm finished, dead for Goodbye. And there's the final star. Come on, Mario. Send the last one up high, way up high. Mm, you do, 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 do. And we did it. That's the final star piece. Which means the star road can now be repaired. They all fall down. Thank you, everyone. Star Wars is back to normal, and it's time for him to go. Bye, Gino. We hope we'll see you in another game, though we never will. Seriously, why did they never bring Gino back, or Malo for that matter? It's not like they were bad characters, but they never made an appearance in any other Mario game. I protest! Watch! Superstar spinning power! Oh. Dino gets separated from the doll. Aww, it's a sad moment. But it's okay! Because his spirit is still alive! Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And he floats away. I'll try to finish as much of this ending as I can in this video. If necessary, I'll just make two videos. Hole seven stars. Remake the Star Road! Yeah, now we're going to see flashbacks of every spot from the previous area of the game. What's going on in Nimbus Land? Malo has taken his rightful place as the prince. And I like how Garrow just kind of walked away. OFF WITH HIS HEAD! Green star. Bowser preparing his ship. I love the shy guy in his ship. I think, yeah, he notices. Get out of my ship! Get out of my ship right now! <laughs> I just had that thing waxed! The 
orange star. As Johnny looks out into the sea. I love how that's like supposed to be dramatic and like we know almost next to nothing about that character. <laughs> this gives an underdeveloped moment, I think. Yoshi Isle. Yeah, I'm not surprised you lost, Croco. Seriously. How can you ever do that running thing? Ugh. That is an impossible puzzle. I, I don't know how anybody does that. The light blue star. Or possibly dark blue. I'm not... Yeah, dark blue. Yay, the dark blue star. <laughs> Toad's Vokey. And we see the grown-up tadpole in the upper left there. Oh, and there's uh, Frog Focus. The red star. Red power. And Booster and her get hitched. And Valentina. Which I'm sorry, I think it would have been really kind of cool if, like, there was, like, okay, you had, like, Booster's story, and then you had Valentina's story, and then, like, later on you could have, like, fought them both together. I thought it would have been really cool, but they never did that. To have it be like, okay, maybe they collectively got a star together and Mario had to beat them to get one back. That would have been kind of cool. Let me get a big thank you. But that's not the entire ending, folks. There's just a little bit more, and I think my background kind of screwed up there. Got just a little bit more of an ending here. Which has kind of become a classic of the Mario games now, is to do a little march marching parade. And look who's the head of the line! Luigi! I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he was even in this game at all! Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Luigi was never in this game at all, except in this parade sequence. At least in Paper Mario, he gets a cameo at the beginning, and then in Paper Mario 2, at least he kind of has a side adventure of some type. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty cool music. Oh yeah, I love Mao doing the cymbals. Love the tadpoles growing legs here. It's kind of cool. Okay, I guess while we're watching the credits here, we should kind of kind of give my final thoughts on stuff here. Um, how I felt about this game. Um, it's a good game. I have to admit, kind of easy. I mean, but I think that's what it was meant to be. You know, it's Super Mario RPG. I mean, it's not like you know Final Fantasy or whatever. I mean, it's it's not really overly difficult. To be fair. A difficulty, I'd have to give this game like a six. It's overly not really that difficult. Come back with my stuff! A uh, plot? I kind of give the plot like a six or a seven as well. I'm not too impressed with kind of some random elements in this game, but then again, it's supposed to be like a Mario slash kids game, so it's, that wasn't really meant to be overly serious. But just so many moments don't really make sense. For example, like Valentina and Booster. I mean, they just introduced, like, a bunch of characters that they never really went back to. And I think some of the Paper Mario games did that, too. Oh, they're better about it, actually, but, I mean, they just... You know, just some random elements were introduced in this game. Even Booster! Why isn't Booster in any of the other games? It's like, he's a, not a bad character. I wouldn't have mind seeing him again. Or Valentina, for that matter. Uh, originality, I, I have to give it a 10. It's, it's a fairly original concept for the time. You know, they never really tried to put Mario in an RPG format. So, for a first attempt, it really wasn't that bad. I, I just felt they could have kind of fine-tuned the story just a little bit. Um, uh, Gameplay, I have to give a 10. Fairly easy gameplay. Nice 3D interface. I really gotta give them credit for that. It was, I, I remember that being kind of like a big innovation when they, um piloted this game is saying, like, oh, look at all the 3D things Mario can do now. Isn't that cool? Shyster going on here. I love the three bad guys. Mac, Yardinovich, and Boer. I love Smithy here. Squish. Oh, we're coming, boss! We double us! <laughs> Alright folks, uh, we're not going to have enough time to finish up this ending, so I'm going to see you in the next video. 
where we'll finish up the, seeing the ending and the end of the game. This is Firewizard23, and as I say, I'm Quillen, have the best day ever.